David Barrett is upstairs. Eric Noden is upstairs here. Joe Felisco is in the music school. I am in this building also on the first floor. Hermina is also in that building on the second floor. So if you wish to see the Hona production facilities for harmonicas, then please sign up for these tours at the desk. The same applies to the guided tour of the Harmonica Museum. The Harmonica Museum in Trossingen is the most extensive collection of reed instruments in the world. So you really want to take this opportunity to check it out. So a lot of jazz musicians play like a C harmonic minor chord over a G7. Okay, so that is the most elementary and basic shuffle figure. And the reason it is a shuffle is because of the length of the note and the length of the pause. That is a shuffle, you can hear it's da 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 right? Actually, it's the, it's the beat of the human heart. If you listen to your heartbeat, you will find that the heart does a sort of double beat, which is dun, 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 Shuffling is, you learn it in your mother's womb. So, our theme is that the cavity gets smaller and smaller and more in the front of the mouth, right? Now let's go to seven blow. It's not going to bend much. Let's all just find your seven blow. Play your seven. Keep that in mind, yeah, when you're doing these things, that you're not really, this drop technique is really important in that you're getting, you're getting a lot of sound, but you're not hitting the string, you're just falling, falling the string. It's the idea that you're really dropping, you're just really dropping, the, letting your arm and wig relax and fall. So you, Thank you. 
Friday and on Saturday we have the concerts running from around about 8 until maybe 11. And after the concerts we will have a brief on stage session and then a, once again, the acoustic jam in front of the stage. Thank you.